Are you looking to switch from console gaming to PC? This might be exactly what you're looking for to help ease the movement to the PC Master Race. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I will show you a quick and easy way to set up music reactive lighting in Razer Synapse 3. If you are like me, you saw this on sale on Black Friday and you're thinking, what the f is the Razer TARDIS V2? Today I'm going to tell you what this keyboard did for me coming from a console player that hasn't played PC in almost 14 years. The Razer TARDIS V2 is a one-handed keyboard that includes an 8-way directional D-pad with a joystick attachment that helps you get the edge over other gamers. Each of its 32 keys actuate at mid-height for instant response, allowing you to execute commands faster than a standard keyboard. When combined with Razer Synapse V3, this allows you with endless possibilities in both RGB and key remapping thanks to Razer's Hypershift feature, allowing me to map all my user interface settings and things that are not crucial to allow maximum efficiency on all of my main keys. Thanks to advanced ergonomics, the Razer TARDIS V2 fits my hand perfectly for long gaming sessions and editing. Coming with a detachable palm rest, it has two adjustable positions to suit your preferred angle and comfort. One thing to note, I have fairly decent sized hands and I use it on the closest position. If you have small hands, this product might not even be for you. As you can see here, I can perfectly reach every key, but someone with smaller than average hands might not be able to. If you're going to use the thumbstick like I do for movement, I recommend getting thumbstick covers like these ones here. Any thumbstick cover made for the Xbox Series controllers will work with this thumbstick. And now, we'll get on to some gameplay. In this gameplay, because I have the thumbstick, it's allowing me to focus more on my aiming and less on how I'm going to move around. Movement is something I struggled with when I went from a joystick to WASD on a keyboard. Because of this struggle, I wasn't able to aim properly and focus on hitting my target because I was worried about how I was going to move. As you're about to see, right here, I'm going to use the hypershift button, which acts as a complete secondary set of switches, which allows me to access my user interface buttons without having to map them to my main keys.
So the first thing you're going to want to do when you boot up Razer Synapse is make sure you go over to modules and you have Chroma Visualizer because that's how all of this runs. When you have Chroma Visualizer installed, come back to dashboard and click on Chroma Visualizer. The next thing you're gonna do is put it on always on and default playback device. So whatever you have your music coming through, it'll pick it up. So I'll go ahead and play some music just so you can see the preview example. So what you're gonna do is switch your effect and switch it over to custom, allowing you to choose what colors that you want displayed. So there are a couple patterns to start you off with unless you wanna make your own custom one. When you set this, basically this is gonna be what your key colors are gonna light up as. And then how you get the dim background is what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to custom and you're gonna select the same thing but you're gonna turn your brightness down so it's just barely visible. When you do this, as you play your music, it's gonna react in the front and the background is just gonna be an ambient. Switching to mouse and keyboard is basically reteaching yourself how to play video games. I have been using the Razer Tartarus V2 for about two weeks now and it has helped me immensely in first person shooters. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is this something you are willing to try out? Let me know what you think about the video. This is my first review I've made, and I figure with as much money as I spent on gaming peripherals, why not share the information with you guys? One comment or even a like will help me, a small creator who's just starting out immensely. And I frequently stream live at twitch.tv forward slash frostyyourdoteman. Thanks for checking out my video, and any feedback is more than welcome. Till next time, you guys. Frosty, you don't, man.